Hi everybody, Dominic here from NRGD. So this is a sketch of a uh, roof of a house. Um, and the idea here, this is uh, a gabled roof, it goes straight up. And we have measurements for it. And we're now going to show how you can figure out how many solar panels would fit on a roof using this roof as an example. So as you can see here, it's got a rectangular shape. It's 4.8 meters and we'll make it by, we'll call it 7.3 meters, for example. Now, the exact number of solar panels you can fit on here might depend on the dimensions, um, but generally there are only really two main sizes of solar panels. So they're all, no matter what size they are, they're all around one meter wide. Now, some models are around 1.7 meters. Other models are around uh, two or slightly above two meters, we'll say 2.1 meters. And generally, uh, assuming this is a, a slate or a tile roof, most installers prefer to put them in portrait format because it requires fewer fixtures, um, but they can go in landscape format if needs be. So first things first, on any roof, we're going to need to allow a setback. This is according to Irish building regulations. And also, if you want to get a grant from the SEAI, you're going to have to have a setback um, of 500 millimeters from any roof edges or any roof features like windows. Now, there can be small exceptions for windows or small things like vents, um, sometimes ridges, you can get away with less, but the rules are quite unclear. Um, so to be on the safe side, we're just going to assume 500 millimeters from any roof obstacle. So here's one edge, we're going to put 500 millimeters here. This is not usable space. Down the bottom we have 500 millimeters of not usable space. Along the top we have 500 millimeters of not usable space. And now along the side, okay, so just pausing here for a second, we have 2.4 meters. If we allow 500 underneath this window and 500 here, we've only got 1.4 meters in here. Now, in theory, you could put a panel in landscape. Uh, there's not space to put one in portrait. Um, overall, it's just not going to make sense to put panels here in landscape. Um, Maybe one would squeeze in extra, but it's going to not look aesthetically great. And um, so the approach I'm going to take is two rows of panels in portrait. So last we have 500 millimeters here, which leaves us really, I'm not going to use this space. So I'm just going to gray that out as well. And our solar panels on this roof in this example are going to go inside this box here. So 7.3 meters minus 1.2 minus uh, 0 0.5, uh, that's going to be 5.6 meters here. And uh, I hope I didn't get that wrong, but it won't matter for the example anyway. 4.8 minus 0 0.5 here, minus 0 0.5 here, leaves us with 3.8 meters here. Okay. So our options in terms of panels, if we go for 2.1 meter panels, we're not going to be able to get two in portrait one above the other. But with 1.7 meter panels, we can add two, one above the other, because two by 1.7 is 
which is less than our 3.8. And now because it's 5.6 wide and each panel is one meter wide, we have space for five panels. We won't be able to get the sixth in and there's going to be 600 millimeters of space left over. So that's basically our answer. We have two high, five wide, we have space for 10 panels. And now the smaller panels these days, let's say 370 watts each is achievable. Uh, or may, well, it's three, 360 watts each. So we have 10 panels times 360 watts gives us 3.8, 3.6 kilowatts of solar on this roof. And 3.6 kilowatts of solar is a decent amount. It will put a dent in the electricity bills. Uh, but generally, if you can try and fit six kilowatts plus for most households in Ireland these days, that is what you really should be aiming for if your electricity bills are anyway high. And even if they're not down the road, you may be looking at installing heat pumps, installing uh, or buying an electric car that you're going to want to charge. And these factors are causing electricity consumption in Ireland to go up and up and up and it will continue over the next decade. Plus, um, from summer 2022, the Irish government has announced that you'll be able to sell your surplus electricity to the grid. So overall, um, to future-proof yourself, it's great to go for 6 kilowatts plus if you can. Now, if on the rear of this roof there happened to be um, equivalent space, and if it was east-west, then this house would be absolutely perfect to get just over 6 kilowatts. Um, but still, 3.6 is certainly better than nothing as well. Uh, now, just for completeness, I'm going to sketch in the solar panels. Um, but this is basically the end of the video. You can finish here if, if you've figured out what, what you needed to understand. Okay, so I'm going to put them uh, just for aesthetics. I think I would line them up. Would I? Would that look a bit strange to line them up at the top of this window? No, it might look strange. I'm going to go slightly above the top of the window. And they won't come all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, I suppose it would make sense from a technical point of view to go higher rather than lower, just in case if there happened to be a, a tree over here or something like that. Um, the higher you can be, the less risk of shade catching the panels. So um, this is our overall box for the 10 panels. So we've got two high and one, two, three, four, five wide. And that's what the, the complete system would look like. 10 panels around 360 watts each, 3.6 kilowatts. Thanks very much for watching.